In today's video, we're building an eight card GPU mining rig for Conflux. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, Conflux has been pumping recently. I think it's the most profitable across the board for most GPU mining rigs at the time of recording this video. And well, I wanna get in on it and I got a rig to build. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's see what GPUs we'll be using for today's rig build. So I went ahead and picked up these three just within the last week or so. The rest of these I had, and what are they? These are the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti's. It's crazy to me to think that this guy is the same card as this guy, is the same card as this monster up here. All different brands here, all different mo makes, all the same model. RTX 3060 Ti. I had several of these from the last bull run that I had collected. Uh, these two I actually had originally and kind of slowly grew to more and more, but they were always in a mixed rig. And with prices on GPUs over the last several months so low before we started to get this pop recently, I thought let's pick up a few more. So I did go ahead and get these three off of eBay from the same seller, 250 bucks each. It's like awesome, sounds good. EVGAs, which are a little harder to come by right now. And they're a lot smaller, easier to work with, especially versus those bad boys. And take them apart and clean them. Definitely will do one of these over something as big as that. So, as I said, we have our three RTX 3060 Ti's here. We have two of these monster. <laughs> Look at the size of this. Crazy to me. Monster. Uh, the ROG Strix units here. I mean, look at it. Two eight pins versus what do we have down here? One eight pin, which is nuts. It's just massive. Now, these units are definitely been built for like more of these gaming rigs and stuff. I mean, these absolutely have better cooling. I don't want to throw them entirely under the bus for just how massive they are. I mean, look how big the heat sink is. This is absolutely nuts. It's a massive card. To give you an idea on size difference, look at this. <laughs> wow, crazy. So we have two of those that we'll be installing today. We have the Gigabyte that we actually got from a new egg shuffle back during the bull run here that we'll be using. This guy, which I was super happy to get my hands on quite some time back, EVGA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Man, oh man, these are really, really nice. Really, really like these cards, especially the three fan. Um, and then finally this guy, which these are definitely much, much harder to come by than even some of the ones that I mentioned there. The Aurorus cards, these are pretty cool. They got some RGBs going on with them. One eight pin and one six pin there. These are nice overall. They're not as big as the ROG Strix, but their focus is, you know, gaming and, and they also got the RGBs and things like that. So we'll be installing all of these, setting them up and configuring them for Conflux. So I'm not really deploying as much in open frames, actually really rare. This is my only open frame rig I've built right now. Doing some testing on a new platform coming out. Those are two very similar to what I just showed you there, two RTX 3060s. However, I have loved these and actually picked up a few more of these. The prices have come down. These are the Vitretu mining rig cases. They're on Amazon. Let me go through this and then I'll tell you what the price of these are right now and why I picked up a few more. So, mining rig that comes with everything you need except for the GPUs. I mean, start to finish, absolutely everything. So, let's go over it. So you got your riseless motherboard right here in the middle. This is actually exactly the way it comes with the cables strapped. We'll cut those off before we deploy them. So, riseless motherboard in the middle. Down below here, you can kind of see under there, you got your CPU. You got your memory, your cooler, all packed in there. We have an MSATA hard drive down here, so no solid state directly, no USB drive for Hive. MSATA works really, really well. Outside of that, high RPM fans in the front, as well as high RPM fans in the back, which is a huge win. I showed off some cases here in the past, the iPolos and stuff like that. They have the fans in the front, but none in the back. This is awesome because look, the GPU mounts here. Some other cases, they actually, the GPUs mount all the way on the back panel. You can actually see the back IO from the rear side. You don't see that here. It stops here and then these actually do a pull. So it's amazing push pull effect through these here. 
Uh, power supply, real beefy one here. 2000 watt power supply that we do have in here. We have all of our cables, nice braided covers on them that come all the way over. Now what happens is they also have, you can see here the way this is wired up, your cables also wire into and power all of our PCI. You can actually see power for PCI Express 7, 6, 5. So that's all powered directly into the board. Now I've showed off some different models where it's also come out of the board and plugged into the into the GPU itself. These do not. Power is completely separate. You have some power that runs into here, and then this go comes from the top. Pretty traditional with some of your other server cases. Uh, there is a fan controller right here on the front. It's manual, so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you'd have with OctoMiner, where you have integration with HiveOS to adjust case fans and things like that. Uh, that's some paid R&D that you just don't get for this server case. Power button on the front, that's really it. Inside here, you can see there's a fan controller right there and it handle all of those fans. Other than that, nothing else too crazy. Plain Jane, pretty basic setup. Now, what do you think this cost? Shipped to my door. This model right here costs $479 to my door from Amazon. There's a lot of great competitors out there, some amazing products out there, but I'm not seeing anything like this, brand new, with the, the eight total high RPM fans, with everything you need start to finish shipped to my door, and I can get it in, what, three days off of Amazon? Now, there's some Chinese products out there, Alibaba, other places like that, where you can get some of these cheaper, but you're 30 days out from China and things like that. So, really happy with these. Um, the black ones, I think they sold out of. I'll put a picture up here of the green ones that are currently available right now. 479 with Amazon Prime. So if you get it in, it's damaged or anything, it's Amazon, they take everything back. You'll know pretty quickly. So go check it out. I fell in love with these and bought up a few more of these Vitretu server cases. We are wired up and good to go. So I was able to get these down here. It worked out okay. I did go ahead. I love my zip ties. I've talked about that in the past. I know a lot of people are concerned on zip ties. The only thing, your zip ties are good. As long as you have plenty of them around to re-secure them. And you don't super, you don't over tighten, which I never do that with these. I mean, you could honestly move these. It's just to keep the cables together. So gone ahead, piped it along here. Now, when I got to this spot here, I was able to get these 
put a zip tie on this side and this side, really pulled these together so it'll be okay with the case uh, lid right here. Uh, which worked out nicely pulled it in and came right inside there and so we are set and ready to go so let's get this in the closet and let's get some power to it all right moment of truth not much room in this closet but i think we're ready to go so let's get our power button where are you at right there heck yeah Woo! some rgb gives you extra hash rate i promise look at that that turned out awesome. I didn't realize that EVGA card had uh, RGB on it. That's cool. And we got the one on the bottom there. Now for fans, you got our fan knob here. Now I'm gonna adjust it. I don't know if, let's see if we adjust it all the way down. I'm not sure if the microphone will pick it up as good, but let's, I'll be quiet here for a second. I'm gonna turn it down. Actually, wow, you probably did hear that. You only really hear the power supply. These are barely spinning. And now let's go halfway. Wow, those are so much air right now. And with the case on, it's gonna be nuts. All right, let's crank this up. Woo! That's awesome. That's gonna be perfect for the spring and summer. All right, let's jump into Hive OS and we're gonna turn this down hardcore. <laughs> all right, well, we're over in Hive OS and it's always a blessing when all the GPUs come up the first time. So you can see we're up and running here. All of these are Hynix memory based 3060 Ti's and we are ready to get started. So our next step is going to be go over to Conflux's website. It's confluxnetwork.org. Make sure you're on the right website. and we need to get our wallet set up. So in the upper right hand corner, click create wallet. That's gonna bring you to this Fluent wallet. And I've used this in the past. It's worked out really, really well. This is an, uh, this is an extension, a kind of a Chrome plugin. It goes in the upper right hand corner. It also works for Firefox and Edge. So use the browser that's best for you. It builds it right into that. I always like to put these on their own VMs as well. Uh, my browser VMs is kind of what I do and I put these type of plugins all separately in there. So play it safe, add, the, add it to Chrome. That's what I'm gonna do. And then you click it in the upper right hand corner when it comes up and follow the step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your own wallet. Make sure you write down all the details, passwords, seed phrases, and your address in a secure location. And join me back here when you're done with your address. All right, so we're ready to get our wallet in Hive OS. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your Hive OS, click into your farm, and at the very top, you're gonna click on wallets. You're then gonna click add wallet in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna select the ticker, coin ticker for this, CFX, there's Conflux. You're now going to take your wallet address and paste it directly into this field. Don't type it out, copy and paste it to be sure. Then name it. I like to go ahead and like to call, you know, I'll put in Conflux Fluent uh, Browser Wallet. I always like to kind of give a description just in case in the future, I need to kind of figure out where it is or where it's coming from versus just Conflux. Then go ahead and hit create. All right, so let's venture back over to our rig and we're ready to get started with our flight sheet. So we're gonna click on a flight sheet and click flight sheets in the upper right hand corner. You're then going to be prompted to create a new flight sheet and it's really easy. From the coin ticker, we're gonna select CFX for Conflux. It's gonna prompt us for what wallet we want. I'm gonna select the wallet that we just created, Conflux Fluent Browser Wallet. And for the pool for today's video, we're going to be using Hero Miners. Now it's going to ask us which one, they have tons of different servers. So first I'm gonna select SSL URL and then we're gonna come down and I'm gonna select USA East. Make sure you pick the one that's best for you. Then we're gonna to scroll to the bottom and hit apply. And for our miner, we're good, because of what we're using with our 3060 Ti's, we're gonna start with Regal Miner and see how it performs. So I'm gonna select Regal Miner there, and then we're gonna come down at the very bottom and we're gonna name it. I'm gonna do CFX for Conflux, and then I always like to put in a little bit more information in here, Hero Miners and then Regal Miner. Just more details about what exactly it is. And then I'm gonna hit Create Flight Sheet. Now what you have to do is go back to Workers, 
scroll down and pick your worker, which ours is Rayquaza. We're gonna go to flight sheets. And the one that we just created is right here, nice and labeled, we know exactly what it is. We're going to send it to the moon off to the right hand side, which applies it to our rig. And we'll be back in about five minutes. All right, we're up and mining, but man, oh man, look at these watts, it's absolutely insane. I can't run at this, it's not efficient. Over 200 watts for each of these, and the one GPU is toasty as anything. I had to crank up the fans. So let's get some overclock settings in place. All right, so we got some overclock settings in place, and I actually started out with um, hashrate.no, tried these out, but I was still about 180, 185. So then I started doing some digging, and huge shout out to my man, Crypto Mining Insider. He has a video from almost a year ago and he has a lot of the 3000 series GPUs on Conflux and he has some great overclock settings for the 3060 Ti. You got 1290 on your lock core clock, 1500 for your memory and zero for your power limit and man oh man, these come in much better. Right around 150, maybe a little bit lower as need be, but we only sacrifice a tiny bit of hash rate and it keeps these much, much cooler. That one card that was like ADC, check it out now. It's now down to 50, which is so much better. So now that we know what Regal Miner does, let's try T-Rex. All right, so we have T-Rex up and mining, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was surprised. I thought T-Rex would do even better than Regal Miner because T-Rex has been around for quite some time. It's kind of the staple for NVIDIA. It's my go-to going back to the Ethereum merge, but unfortunately it's not. So it's about one mega hash less per GPU which is within that margin of error. But where really Regal Miner does better is watt and watt efficiency. Regal Miner puts us about 1,155 watts, whereas T-Rex, we're at 1,256, about 101 watt difference. All right, guys, it has been 16 hours or the next day, and our rig has been up and mining nice and stable. I absolutely love it. So let's take a look and see here. So to recap, we're on Regal Miner, we are mining Conflux, and we are mining to the Hero Miners US East Coast pool. Over here, you can see we're at 434 mega hash, and our watts we measured at the wall was 1,155. So let's go ahead and take a look here over on mining pool stats. And once you're over here, you can see Hero Miners is the top pool to mine to currently right now. And something to really take a note at as you start to look at these is blocks in the last 100 and hero miners definitely stands out so if we jump over to hero miners we can go uh, to conflux you guys can see all the different pools that they do cover and when you come here we'll click on blocks and this is a great breakdown uh, it gives you uh, blocks it gives you uncles it gives you solo blocks orphans and also average effort so if you're ever curious on like what pool do you want to mine to when you're looking into different coins for us it's conflux it's always good to see how many blocks and what blocks they've hit recently because you want to jump on those and be a part of those that's always great because hey that's how your profitability gets paid out all right so we're over here let's take a look at our dashboard and if you guys aren't familiar Here's a bunch of announcements in the top left hand corner for hero miners. They actually just added Pyron not too long ago on the 15th and before that Clore and before that Carlson. So they've been kind of hitting it. Oh, look at that Narai. They've been hitting all of these new up and coming coins that have been pumping, which is great. I love it. I mine most of my rigs are mining right now to hero miners. So let's go ahead and scroll down and we can see, you know, what do we say? We've been up running for about 16 hours here. Total paid out is 34.8 Conflux. I have 0.7354 Conflux in the hopper pending my current balance. So what we can do now is you can see down below here some estimated earnings as well as where our rig currently stands. So what I'd like to do, because Conflux really bounces around a lot, we're gonna take uh, what we're doing right now, 434 for our hash rate, 11.55 for our power, and let's take a look at 15 cents. I'm not paying 15 cents currently right now at my house. I'm at 12 cents currently now at my house. And then at my ASIC farm that I have, I'm paying a uh, high four cents there, but let's do 15 because 15 is more reasonable. It's more the norm nowadays. Uh, I don't know about you guys, what your electric rate is. Comment down below. Let me know what your electric rate is. I'd love to hear. So let's hit calculate to get an updated calculation. 
And as of today, the 19th of December, this rig is making after, oh, well, let's see, before our revenue is $6.75, our cost is $4.16, and our profit is $2.59. And this fluctuates a lot. As I said, we just got out of a huge conflux pump, and I wanna make sure that I get my bags kicked off because I haven't really mined conflux before. So I'm eager to see what I can go ahead and get in my bag. All right, that's gonna wrap things up for today's video. Huge shout out to HeroMiners.com for sponsoring today's video. Well, I got three or four more GPU mining rig builds to do. What coin do you guys think I should put it on? Is there any spec plays out there that you're like, love to see hobbyists do? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I got 3060s left. I got 0x80s left. I got 6600 XTs left. Let me know what you're thinking. Leave those comments down below. Well guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video and you wanna be notified when I drop my next GPU mining rig video, go ahead and click that bell and I'll see you guys next time.